Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our playlist called Labs. In previous videos, we talked about urine uric acid, urine chloride, urine potassium, urine leukocyte esterase, urine nitrites, urine osmolarity, even urine electrophoresis. Today, it's time to talk about urine microscopy. When should I examine the urine under the microscope? And why can be this useful clinically to make a diagnosis? Isn't the urine dipstick enough? Let's find out. Let's get started. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Do you remember the story of normal versus nephrotic versus nephritic syndrome? Normally, the kidney should have no protein in the urine and no blood in the urine. That's a good kidney. A kidney with nephrotic syndrome will let protein pass into the urine. A kidney with nephritic syndrome, itis means inflammation because the kidney is inflamed and shedding tears of blood. So we see blood in the urine. We talked about nephrotic syndrome and nephritic syndrome in great detail in my playlist titled Nephrology. Just remember when it ends in itis, it's a nephritic syndrome. You can find the itis here. Because in itis, the kidney is inflamed and shedding tears of blood. Not everything that shines is gold. And not every urine that looks red is actually blood. It could be red because of a pigment, such as beet in the urine, beeturia. Or it could be because there is myoglobin in the urine or hemoglobin in the urine. All of this is not the true hematuria. The true hematuria is when you see red blood cells in the urine. When you see red blood cells in the urine, this is what you call true hematuria. And of course, to see red blood cells in the urine, these are microscopic structures that require microscopic examination of the urine sample. And by the way, did you know that too much vitamin C can lead to a false negative test, i.e. the test comes back negative, however, it should have been positive. The patient has a problem. Where are the red blood cells coming from? Well, they could be coming from the urethra, from the urinary bladder, from the ureter, or from the kidney. And even in the kidney, they could be coming from the tubules, or they could be coming from the glomeruli. When we see red blood cell casts in the urine, we can blame the kidney tubules, which means it's not the fault of the urethra, the bladder, or the ureter. It's coming from the tubules. When we see dysmorphic red blood cells, usually the kidney's fault, and most of the time it's the glomerulus. So if I have glomerulonephritis, I should see both. Why else do we do urine microscopic examination? Maybe to look for urine crystals, kidney stones, nephrolithiasis. I have a video about this topic in my playlist called Labs. Here are some shapes for the urine crystals or kidney stones. Calcium oxalate kidney stones look like an envelope. Cysteine kidney stones have hexagonal shaped. Struvite stones or staghorn calculi have the coffin lid shape. Uric acid are rhomboid. So let's recap. We perform microscopic examination on the urine to detect actual red blood cells, to distinguish between the true hematuria and false hematuria. False or pseudohematuria could be because of hemoglobin, myoglobin, or pigments like beet. Oh, by the way, what's the difference between microscopic hematuria and gross hematuria? Gross here does not mean disgusting. Gross means big, visible to the naked eye. If I can actually see the blood in the urine, we call this gross hematuria. But if the blood is not seen by the naked eye and is only seen using microscopy, we call this microscopic hematuria. Which one is worse? Probably gross hematuria. Also, the microscope will help us see white blood cells in the urine. If I can see more than five white blood cells by high power field under the microscope, this means there is urinary tract infections. What's the next step? Urine culture. Also, the microscope will help me see urine crystals or urine stones, as well as urine casts. When you see casts in the urine, blame the tubule of the kidney. Why is that? Because a cast is like ice cubes. When you see ice cubes taking the shape of the cube, can you guess from the shape of the cube? The shape of the container that the ice was in. Of course, the container was shaped like cubes. Duh! Perfect. When you see casts in the urine, they will look like this, like tubules. They take the shape of the container. So you know that this is a tubular disease. Which means do not blame the urethra, do not blame the bladder, do not blame the ureter. This is coming from the kidney's tubule. And of course, urine casts are divided into hyaline casts and cellular casts, 
We talked about this in a separate video titled Urine Casts. You will find these in my labs playlist. When you see more than five white blood cells in the urine, what's the next step? Urine culture. Learn about this by watching my video with this title in my labs playlist. Quiz time. What is the shape of stones caused by organisms that are urease positive? Please let me know the answer in the comment section and try to enumerate five organisms that are urease positive. You will find the correct answer in the next video in this lab's playlist. If I have bacteria in the urine with no symptoms, it's called asymptomatic bacteriuria. In most cases, it's no big deal. But during pregnancy, it's a very big deal. You can learn about asymptomatic symptomatic bacteriuria and the urinary tract infections that can happen during pregnancy by downloading my OBGYN high yields course. How do we treat urinary tract infections? Antibiotics. Learn about antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications by downloading my antibiotics course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. The field of urology belongs to surgery. I've talked about many topics of urology in my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com, such as testicular torsion, acute epididymitis, acute obstructive pyelonephritis, bacterial prostatitis, acute and chronic, posterior urethral valve, ureteropelvic junction obstruction, urological tumors, and much more. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Snellis, where medicine makes perfect sense.